Out of sight, out of mind. You probably don't really give it a lot of thought when you flush the toilet, but there is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes than you might imagine. Taking flows from your property to the sewage treatment works requires a drainage system. Do you know which parts of the network you are responsible for? All the bathroom fittings and plumbing. The kitchen fittings and plumbing. Domestic appliances such as dishwashers or washing machines. Your bathroom and toilet soil pipes. The kitchen and utility room soil pipes are also your responsibility if you're a property owner. Below ground, the drains remain your responsibility until they either cross the property boundary or connect into a sewer crossing your land. At that point, the system becomes our responsibility. Yellow drains are your responsibility. Red sewers are the responsibility of Northumbrian Water. Manholes can belong either to the property owner or Northumbrian Water, depending on where they sit in the network. Just because they are located within the boundary of a private property does not necessarily mean that they are your responsibility. Blocks of flats are slightly different. Although the individual units may be owned by different people, all of the pipework within the block and the grounds is classified as private until the drain crosses the boundary. Purple drains are your responsibility and red sewers are the responsibility of Northumbrian Water. So what happens after the network leaves your property? Initially, the sewage pipe will connect into a public sewer either running down your street or within close proximity. These sewers vary in size and can be quite large. The sewage network is extensive with over 29,000 kilometres of pipe just in the Northumbrian water region. Within the network, dirty water, sewage and drain water are separated whenever possible. Some sewers carry just rain water and others carry sewage. There are also combined sewers which carry both. The pipes that just carry rainwater discharge into rivers and watercourses. Eventually, sewage and liquid from the combined sewers will be gravity fed or pumped to a sewage treatment works. As the name suggests, the sewage is then treated to neutralise it. Once this process is complete, the remaining treated liquid is released back into the environment, usually at an outfall into a river or a waterway or the sea. Incidentally, do you know what happens to rainwater that falls on your roof? In most cases, this drains into the gutters, into the downpipe and into a gully pot. This flows underground until the drain either leaves the boundary or connects into a sewer crossing the property. At that point, it becomes our responsibility. Within your street, you may also notice highway gullies. These are used to remove rainwater from the highway and are always the responsibility of the local highway authority, not the water and sewerage company. They may or may not connect into our network, but they remain the responsibility of the local authority until they do. If you need any further advice, please contact us by telephone or on our website.